In an effort to improve our writing style this year, we're going to take a look at syntax. Um, and the first form of syntax we're going to look at is called the segregating style. But before we look at that, we have to understand what syntax is. Syntax is the arrangement of words and phrases within a sentence. In other words, sentence structure. It's how the ideas are arranged so that they hopefully create a pleasing and effective sentence. Now we're going to look at seven different sentence types, but the first we're going to look at is the segregating style. Because it's important to cite your work, just so you know, all this stuff about syntax and the different sentence styles originally comes from Thomas Kane's Oxford Essential Guide to Writing, but I got it from a uh, a, an adapted version by Gretchen Palmack. So, shout out to them. The characteristics of the segregating style are simplistic, short, uncomplicated sentences usually used for simple ideas. Uh, that probably sounds very abstract, so let's look at some examples. Example number one. Jane draws pictures. She focuses very hard on them. The pictures slowly improve. They begin to take on life. Now you can see that these sentences are very short and simple. You've got three words here. The first being uh, the subject. The second being the verb. And then the object. So, I mean, that's it doesn't get more simple than that. In fact, the subject is at the beginning of each of the sentences. So the, the structure is very simple. Um, there are no commas to, to show you that ideas are related or to break up ideas because each of these sentences is one idea. Now, the reason this is called the segregating style is because each of these ideas is segregated from the rest. Now, what I could have done is put an and here. Jane draws pictures and she focuses very hard on them. That would create a more complicated sentence, but the sentence wouldn't be segregated from the next sentence. These sentences are segregated, so this is the segregating style. Let's take a look at another example. I love baseball. I love the crack of the bat. I love the beauty of the field. My favorite team is the Yankees. Again, very simple sentences. Now, you could hear, probably, that... The use of repetition within these simple sentences, you know, repetition at the beginning of an idea is called anaphora. So the anaphora here creates a nice feel, a nice rhythm. I totally destroyed that rhythm with the last sentence, but um, I had to throw that in there. But anyway, so you can see how this style could be effective, even though it seems very simplistic. But still, each of these ideas is segregated from the rest. So it's still part of the segregating style. Last example. Minecraft is a fun game. I play it with my daughter. She builds bizarre structures. It gets annoying. Um, this is true, by the way. Uh, again, simple. Now, again, I could put and, or she builds bizarre structures, but um, I could unsegregate these ideas, but then they wouldn't be part of the segregating style. Now, you might ask yourself, I, why would I ever write in an essay in this style? And that would be an excellent question, because you probably shouldn't write sentences so short consecutively like this. However, the segregating style does have some advantages. First, it can create drama and emphasis, especially when uh, there is purposeful repetition, like I, that, in that earlier sentence. You can create some drama, and the short ideas can emphasize each of those ideas. Rather than link them all together, then nothing gets emphasized. If you have them short, then they all get emphasized. Uh, secondly, they can be used to simplify complex ideas. 
for example, if you're trying to explain something very simply to someone, um, you could use this style. That's how you would explain something to a child. Break it down, very simple sentences. Now that can seem a little condescending, so you have to be careful about that. Um, but if you're trying to break down a very complex idea, simple sentences could help. However, this is where you want to focus. The segregating styles is especially effective when used with longer sentences, within sentences that are longer. If, if you have a short sentence, a segregated sentence, a segregated idea, it's like a punch. So let's look at an example of that from the great ta Coates. Now this is the end of a paragraph from his essay, The Case for Reparations. And it says, They lobbied those blacks who did manage to buy to sell back. In 1949, a group of Englewood Catholics formed block associations intended to keep up the neighborhood. Translation, keep black people out. And when civic engagement was not enough, when government failed, when private banks could no longer hold the line, Chicago turned to an old tool in the American repertoire, racial violence. The pattern of terrorism is easily discernible, concluded a Chicago civic group in the 1940s. It is at the seams of all the black ghetto in all directions. On July 1 and 2 of 1946, a mob of thousands assembled in Chicago's Park Manor neighborhood, hoping to eject a black doctor who'd recently moved in. The mob pelted the house with rocks and set the garage on fire. The doctor moved away. That right there. Simple, segregated sentence, but tons of power because all the sentences before were long and complicated this short segregated sentence is a powerhouse it's so simple but so effective so that's how you could use the segregating style effectively he does it up here too simple but powerful that's how you write there are, of course, however, some disadvantages to the segregating style, so let's look at those. Disadvantages. Uh, the segregating style does not indicate the relationships between ideas. Because there are no conjunctions or linking of the ideas, you're leaving the ideas segregated, it's hard to, sometimes to know how the ideas are supposed to be related, because a conjunction like and tells you that the two ideas are similar. A conjunction like but tells you that the two ideas are contradicting, and so on. So it's hard to tell sometimes what those relationships are. Um, if you do too many sentences in the segregating style in a row, the writing becomes repetitive. So you don't want to do that. And it can sometimes lack subtlety. Uh, but if, you, if you're smart about it, and you save it for a, a moment where you really need a lot of impact, a short sentence in the segregating style can be like dynamite in your essay. Mind them and out. 